Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. It is that time again. I'm going to be sharing with you the products that I was absolutely loving, obsessed with, could not stop using in the month of August. I know I say this, every single time I sit down to film a favorites video, but I can't believe that yet again, another month has gone by. I keep seeing memes and TikToks everywhere talking about, can you believe that March was so many days ago or March was so many months ago? I feel like it's like, I have to pinch myself. Like, is this real? Am I real? Is this just some weird effed up reality that I have entered into? <laughs> it's just crazy. But nonetheless, we are here to talk about happy things, products that are just fantastic and that I have been loving. And despite the fact that I live most of my day in a mask these days, these are products that in my free time, I just can't stop playing with. And they are just so, so, so good. I have a fantastic lineup coming your way. I have a hair product. I have skincare. I have makeup. I have brushes. So grab your favorite drink. Let's get comfy. Grab your cat, your dog, and let's just talk about some fabulous beauty products. Now, first off, I want to talk about these brand new brushes that Laura Lee just launched through her brand, Laura Lee Los Angeles. Now she did launch these in a bundle. The bundle is sold out as of right now. She did say that they will be back in November, I believed, but I think that she did restock or at least there are some of the individual brushes left. So it comes in this super cute bag. Now she said that she designed this so that you can actually fit the nudie patootie palette in here or another makeup palette along with the brushes, which makes it fantastic if anyone is traveling anytime soon, which I don't know how many people are actually traveling right now, but you get the drift when things go back to normal. She did also make it in a material that is extremely durable and washable so it doesn't get dirty and I love that about this bag but obviously the star of the show are the brushes on the inside especially her foundation brush oh my goodness this gives me artiste vibes it is so densely packed and it just buffs your foundation onto your face like velvet it's like butter it's like I can't believe it's not butter you know when you go into that tub of just perfectly soft not so real butter and it just spreads so easily on toast am I comparing my skin to toast right now yes but it is that satisfying it just it works it is fantastic it disperses the product beautifully the brush hairs are so so soft this is like a soft kind of matte handle here the rose gold ferrules this is just a beautiful collection i also love the eyeshadow brushes as well especially this one right here this is the l18 if you have hooded eyes oh my goodness girl this will become your very best friend i did use this brush to actually create this look that i have right here just this simple neutral look it is perfection they're so soft i love every single brush brush in the collection. If you can get your hands on the set when it relaunches, I think it's like 40 some bucks or something. And you get quite a few brushes. You get the awesome bag. It's just fantastic. And no, this is not sponsored. I did buy this with my own money. Moving on to the next product. Now I made a TikTok video about this. Damn. How and insane is that? I wore this in the video that I uploaded either yesterday or a couple days ago, depending when this video goes up. The Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. I am wearing this right now. This mascara is absolutely mind blowing. It is so freaking good. I have never used a mascara quite like this. This makes your lashes stay so incredibly curled, so volumed, but lengthened. It doesn't give you those nasty spider lashes. It doesn't flake. It stays put all day long. It doesn't bleed. It is just the absolute best. It is dual sided here. So you have your curl and length side and then you have your volume side. Now I have tested using out each one first. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I haven't seen too much of a difference using whatever side first. And I will also say that you don't even have to curl your lashes when you're using this. As you're putting it on, it's almost like watching in slow motion, like your lashes just go bloop, just like that with that sound and everything. <laughs> but it is so, so good. This product is so underrated. I don't hear enough people talking about this damn mascara. It is, it is magic. I don't know what she did. I don't know what's in this formula, but it is that good. Next up is a brow combo that is not new to me, but I did actually switch from this product. And every time I go back 
to it, I am reminded why I love it oh so much. This is the Glow Skin Beauty Precise Micro Brow Liner. I have mine in the shade Raven. This is the most perfect eyebrow pencil for me. Not only is the color just spot on and just match my hair and my brow hairs just perfectly. It's the way that it goes on, the way that it stays put all day. It is so good. It's not too stiff, but it's not too soft. It just, it's the perfect texture. This formula for a brow pencil is unmatched. I have tried so many different brow pencils, brow pomades, just so many different options, different styles, and nothing compares to this. The Urban Decay Brow Blade, that duo ended one that I've talked about before, I would put that one in a second place position but it just still doesn't even come close to this one. It is perfection. It's the easiest to use. It comes in several different shades and Glow Skin Beauty just nailed it with this. I hope they never get rid of it. I hope they never change the formula. That will just be the saddest day ever if that day comes. Then we have from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the cow... I can never say this. Kylie Cosmetics Kai Brow Extreme Hold Gel. Now this is a clear brow gel. I have gone through two and a half to three tubes of this already. And I'm telling you, if you want something to hold your brows in place, this is it. It doesn't feel too crispy or crunchy though. It just works. If you like that kind of like laminated brow look, or if you have brow hairs that are just pretty hard to tame, this actually works quite well. I, I love this. It's the clear brow gel that I just go back to over and over and over again. This is probably, arguably, one of Kylie's best products that she has ever released. I wanna talk about a couple of cheek products. Now these two items are another one that I will say is extremely underrated. I don't know why more people don't talk about these. These were released last spring, I wanna say. I mean, maybe it's because obviously of everything that was going on, but still, I have to give them some love. From Grande Cosmetics, I have the Grande Glow Liquid Highlighter in the shade French Pearl, and the Grande Pop Plumping Liquid Blush in the shade Sweet Peach. Now, these are supposed to actually have a plumping effect on the cheek. They feel very cooling when you put them on. I don't know how much of a plumpness that it causes, but it does feel really good on, and these blend so, so good on the skin. The highlight just looks so natural and beautiful. It doesn't exaggerate texture. The blush just kind of blends out to like this sheer tint, which is so good. If you want to get your feet wet and kind of dip into the realm of liquid products. This is a very good place to start. I do believe these are available at Sephora. I ordered them directly from Grande Cosmetics, but again, I do believe you can get them at Sephora. They come in a few different shades. I definitely think they're worth checking out. Another highlighter I have to give some love to, more so the formula, because oh, sad enough, ColourPop just had to stab me in the heart like this. They got rid of my favorite shade. These are the Super Shock Cheek Highlighters. This is hands down one of the best, if not the very best, highlighters highlight formulas on the market. The way that this sits on the skin is just a dream. It is a dream come true. There is just nothing on planet earth that really performs like this. This is in the shade Thimble. I can't remember if I've mentioned that already. I'm just gonna go ahead and layer it on top of what I have on, but girl, look at for real? For real. Look at this shade. I really hope that they decide to bring this back at some point or release something like it because this highlighter shade, come on. This is perfect. It's not too icy. It's not too warm. It is fantastic. Now, even though this shade is not available, there are so many other shades that are that are fantastic. They do carry these in Ulta if you don't want to order it and go through that whole thing of waiting, but they do have some of their most popular shades stocked at Ulta, like Lunch Money and Flexitarian. I have Flexitarian, that one I absolutely love. I just ranted and raved about these in my ColourPop collection video, but every time I have this highlight on and I'm at work, somebody compliments me, they ask me where I get it and I'm like, it's a super cheap highlighter from ColourPop. It is so good. My nose is really glowing, but nonetheless, fantastic. More from ColourPop. I have the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I have mine in the shade Light 70W and it is the foundation that I have on today. This is the most perfect foundation ever if you have dry skin or if you have skin that is just lacking hydration or you want to add some plumpness back in, you have fine lines. This foundation is a dream come true. It is super high coverage. A little bit goes a long way and it actually is very 
long wearing. Now I will say to get the most benefit out of this foundation, I would suggest setting it down with a really good setting powder. It will lock it in place. I feel like if I don't set this, it does move around just a tad depending on the weather. Obviously when it's more humid, then I definitely really wanna go out of my way to press a good setting powder in the skin, even maybe pop on a finishing powder on top of that. But nonetheless, this foundation is an all-star product from ColourPop. This is one of their very, 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 very best launches ever. This is so good. I love that it has a pump. It is choice. Fabulous. You need to check it out. Another product from the Pretty Fresh line, we have the Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I have been obsessed with this. I have been reaching for this over my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, believe it or not. The mister on this thing is just beautiful. Look at this. I hope you can see it in the camera. My goodness. It's like a slow release and it smells like just creamy tropical coconuts. And it does something beautiful to my skin. When I set my face with this setting spray, it just locks everything in. My face looks hydrated and plumped and it just melts product right in. It is gorgeous. Now, one trick that I do that I absolutely love and I feel like I can't do my makeup without this step is before I put on highlighter, I will actually set my face with this specific setting mist. It works beautifully. I will set my face with this mist and then I will pop the highlight on top of it. I don't know what it is. It's just doing things in that order. Just really amplifies highlight and it helps that highlight melt into the skin so it doesn't look like it's sitting on top. Especially if you have textured skin, you will love that tip. Try it out. Even if you don't have this particular setting mist, just try it with anything, whether it's Fix Plus or the Morphe or even the Urban Decay All Nighter, any of those. Set your makeup down first let it dry down and then put your highlight on top of it. You can thank me later. Next is a cream bronzer from Tarte. This is another one that goes into that category of why does nobody talk about this? Why? This is their breezy cream bronzer in the shade Seychelles. Now this does come in a shade that is one step down, so one shade darker. But what I love about this product, number one, is how beautifully it blends, but also that you can actually contour and bronze with this product as well. This is going to look probably more like a bronzer if you have a lighter skin tone, but if you have light to medium, medium tan skin, this is perfect to kind of do a bronzer contour. Kind of one of those things where you get two steps in one. It makes your routine that much easier if you're someone who wants to bronze and contour with a cream product. It is perfection. I love this. A little bit goes a long way. I love the packaging. It is so good. This is one of Tarte's best products. One of their best releases that they've had in a really long time. So good, you can't lose with this. Now last for the makeup products I have from Juvia's Place. They just recently launched a line of like nude, different nude type matte lipsticks, as well as some lip glosses. And these lip glosses blew me away. Like blew me into the next world. I'm not even kidding you. Especially this shade right here, Barely There. This is stunning. Now there's something about this formula that just instantly makes your lips look so plump and juicy. If you have fine lines on the lips, you will love these glosses. They are extremely opaque. It's almost like a vinyl lipstick. It does have like this giant doe foot applicator and it's kind of welled out there at the tip so it kind of catches the product. Look at this. It's just glossy and smooth and beautiful and paired with a lip liner. Oh my goodness. These have become my favorites. I have been wearing these in the last several-ish videos, I would say. Not necessarily in order, but I have been wearing them a lot. Another shade that I love is Caramel Rose. Look at this. Now, if that is not a fall lip gloss, I don't know what is. I did pick up one other shade. It is behind me in my lipstick collection. Can I point at it back here along with the matte lipsticks as well, which those are beautiful as well. If you are on the hunt for a solid new gloss or lipstick, check out the most recent release from Juvia's Place because they are way good like super, super extra good. All right, let's move on to the two skincare items that I wanna share with you guys. This is the Oat So Simple Water Cream. This is from a brand called Crave Beauty. I have heard so many skincare TikTokers and YouTubers talk about this moisturizer and it has changed my skin 
immensely. Like I can't even describe it to you. At first I thought, mm, water cream, is that going to be hydrating enough for me? If some of you didn't know, but I'm sure most of you do. I have like the driest skin on the planet. I have an autoimmune disorder actually that causes me to have reactive dermatitis during certain stages of my cycle. So that's just great. So I will get dermatitis and super sensitive, dry, scaly skin on certain parts of my face. And the ingredients in here are safe enough even for those types of skin conditions. There's no heavy oils in this. There's just a few emollient and humectant type ingredients in it. It is minimal and it does have oat in it, which is very soothing to the skin. I've actually noticed a massive reduction in the redness in my skin as well since using this moisturizer. The nice thing is that if you don't feel like you are getting enough hydration from it. I give it about 10 minutes to let it soak in. I will then go ahead and go in with another layer and it is just perfect. This also works fantastically underneath makeup as a primer as well. I'll just show you guys the consistency of this. It does come with a scooper. You get over two ounces, nearly three ounces of product, and this is 28 bucks. 28 bucks for nearly three ounces of product is insane, especially for something that is extremely clean. Again, if you have sensitive skin, you definitely need to give this moisturizer a try. It is, it is perfection. I do want to give some love to a product from Is Clinical. Now, this is a medical grade or quote unquote, a medical grade skin care brand that is typically sold in med spas. A lot of celebrities talk about is clinical. I don't love a lot of their products, but this cleanser right here is my favorite cleanser of all time. I have been using this since, I wanna say last summer. So it's been over a year that I have been obsessed with this. This is their warming honey cleanser. It is made up primarily of like, I think it's Manuka honey, some sort of honey, as well as royal jelly. It is super soothing on the skin. It breaks up makeup. It is perfect if you like to double cleanse. It doesn't disrupt your moisture barrier. And it smells so yummy, just like honey, but it doesn't have any added fragrances in it. It's so good. I highly suggest checking this out. I think you can get this from premierlook.com or Premier Look. I think that's their website. They always have a lot of sales. I think you can get like 15 or 20% off your first order with them. They are an authorized dealer. I think Derm Store sells it as well online. Fantastic. And then last but not least, I want to talk about this braid that you see in my hair. This is a product from INH, insert name here. I have done reviews on their hair pieces before. I have worn them in my videos. I am a huge fan of their ponies and their buns. And now this. So this is their um, braid band, I believe it is called. I'll put it somewhere on the screen here. I believe most of the shades are sold out at this point, but every single time I wear this, I get so many compliments on it. People actually think it's my real hair. Well, they act like that, or maybe they're just being nice and they don't want to say, oh, hey, I like your fake hair piece, which I really don't care. It doesn't bother me. But nonetheless, I love this. It just can jazz up any messy bun. It could conceal, you know, if you don't want to show off greasy hair or grays or anything like that, it just adds a nice little touch to your hairdo for the day, especially for someone like me who just isn't that good at doing hair. I don't like to spend a lot of time on it. I want to look a little bit more polished before work. It is absolutely perfect for that. And it actually stays in place really well. Like it does not move or budge at all. I wear it all day long. It doesn't ever feel like it's slipping or falling off, which is kind of my beef most of the time with hair stuff like this, but this one doesn't do that. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what products you are loving or are you just not really into makeup right now? Are you more into skincare since most of us are just covering 90% of our faces these days? Oh, I cannot wait until I can show off a bomb ass lip color again. Hopefully that day Hopefully those days are somewhere around the corner here coming up soon because definitely miss seeing people's faces. <laughs> Give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. And of course, if you love the content, if you are enjoying what I post, please share it with your friends and family. That helps me so much. Smashing that like button helps a lot too. It helps the YouTube algorithm know to suggest my content. It is not one of the number one things you can do to help me out. And obviously on top of that, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you get notifications when I upload videos just like this one. I love you guys so much. If you weren't aware, I do have a giveaway going on right now. Check out my Too Faced Pumpkin Spice eyeshadow palette review if you are interested in seeing the deets on that. Again, I love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.